Yes, yes, yes. AI will have real impact on .NET jobs. Earlier, companies were hiring just .NET developers. Now, companies are hiring .NET full stack developers or .NET Plus Azure developers. Whether you are planning to start a .NET career or you are already working as a .NET developer, at some point, these questions must have come to your mind. Will AI take my .NET job? Should I switch to some other technology? Should I even start learning .NET now? And last is, how will .NET survive with AI? So that is the big question. And if you have these doubts or you want to now know how AI will work with .NET in future, then this video is exactly for you. So today, let's talk openly. Let's understand the truth and the future. Where exactly does AI take .NET developers up or down. Now, how we will do this is we will see the software development process quickly and then we will understand what as a developer in each step you can do and what AI can do. Okay, who is more powerful? So, software development process have majorly five steps. First is requirement gathering, understanding what the user or client truly needs. Second is design and architecture, planning how the system will work. Coding is the third part. We think it is the most, but it is not the most. It is like 20 to 30 percent of application development. Next is testing the application and finally it is deploy and monitor the application at the end. So these are the major parts of software development. Now let's understand what as a developer you can do here in each step and what AI can do. First is requirement gathering. Here developers talk to clients and talk to users, ask questions, gather project details, business requirement and estimate the efforts. So these are the requirements and almost 90% of things are done by developers only. AI just templates some high level, that's it, okay. So here developer role is much bigger because AI cannot understand real business pains. Next step is design and architecture. Here developers choose design patterns, database design, how to decide how the system will work. So almost 80% of the work, okay? And yes, AI can propose architectural help ideas, 20% of the effort, all right? Next is the coding part. This is where for writing code, developer and AI both will contribute around equally 50-50%, okay? AI cannot do it alone. AI can write faster code, but code must be under supervision of developers only. No company will deploy AI generated code directly without developer reviews. Okay. Next phase is testing. And here developers do unit testing, manual testing, integration testing. 80% of the efforts are done by developers. And only 20% like generate unit tests can be done by AI. Last one is deploy and monitor the application and here developer only configure the server, debug, production issues, almost 90% of the work. AI can give suggestions and recommendations here, but developer role is much, much stronger and direct. Okay. So what is the conclusion here of all of this? So here all the all are the steps. Even after AI, if you will aggregate all the steps, developer role is around 50 to 80 percent in each of the step. So developer will decide what to do most of the things and AI will help in speeding up the process. OK. Now, if you are still not convinced, then see what AI can do. AI can write code faster. AI can generate functions. AI can make your code quality better. Right. But here is what developers can do but ai cannot so first developers can understand business requirements ai can't okay developers can do architectures and db design ai can't based on this design only code will be created okay if you don't have the knowledge of code you cannot go for architecture then oh sorry 
then ai can ensure security sorry developers can ensure security checks for the applications and developer can debug the and fix production issues ai can't okay and the most important is developer only will communicate communicate with the teams and client ai can't do it see the whole point is whenever a new technology comes the world becomes uncomfortable when computers comes people said job will go when internet came again they said jobs will go now automation is was there people said job will go and now ai is there and once again everyone is repeating the same thing but look around you jobs are not disappearing jobs are changing earlier companies were hiring only dotnet developers but now they are mostly hiring either dotnet full stack developers or dotnet plus azure develop developers now companies are expecting more because with ai a software engineer can learn more and do more so the logic is very simple it's all about cost see with ai one software engineer can develop one application faster with ai in less time right that means one application development cost will go down and therefore more applications will be developed in future so the jobs will never go down remember ai empowering software engineers ai will replace developers who will not use ai okay so now let's talk about why you a dotnet developer not other language coders why dotnet coder coders have the biggest advantage in the ai era see microsoft owns almost entire ai development ecosystem let me show you microsoft owns dotnet microsoft own azure ai microsoft owns cognitive services then microsoft owns github then copilot then ml.net and microsoft owns power platforms everything connects and integrates beautifully with dotnet okay now maybe you don't know many of these technologies right now but for now just be aware that these are ai supporting dotnet technologies so in the ai futures companies using microsoft technologies will rely more on dotnet developers okay not less more so for example this copilot is very popular ai tool for all the languages but since microsoft owns both dotnet and copilot so definitely dotnet will get the advantage from copilot okay next maybe you think that you have to learn python for ai and that is not completely true microsoft have this ml.net so with this you can build ai tools like chat gpt with pure c sharp no python required okay a huge plus for enterprises who do not want to go from you know changing languages from c sharp to python and all and all and at the end don't forget that ai systems like Ch chat gpt also have backends every ai project needs backend things features like authentications apis microservices messaging services cloud deployments sql databases so all these things are backend features and who will build these backend features for ai of course backend developers especially dotnet developers so ai does not reduce the need for backend developers ai increase the need the more ai grows the more backend developer uh, backend systems company needs to develop and support it right now if you are still not convinced that dotnet is safe from ai then let me show you some real examples of the candidates who are getting dotnet jobs these days so here are some of my students who commented on my videos of dotnet about their interview success stories and here are some more so the list is very long if jobs are not there then how these students are getting interview calls and jobs okay again this list is very long and i hope now you are positive about your dotnet career and i want you to get the best dotnet job for you like them and then you can comment on this video or any of my video about your interview success story until then never ever give up again all the best for your interviews and your career